Hi, just a uh, quick video for this little project I've been working on. Basically what this is is a AA powered uh, nightlight torch type arrangement. Um, basically it runs on standard everyday AA batteries. These are rechargeable. Um, now what I figured is these being nickel metal batteries they're pretty easy to deal with um, so what I've done is built in a very simple uh, charging circuit basically you send 5 volts into here uh, it runs through a resistor runs through um, a diode and then hits the battery and charges it up now nickel metal hydrides are pretty simple to charge uh, if you're using roughly one-tenth uh, the capacity of the battery as it's charging current you can generally leave them plugged in 24 hours or indefinitely without too much uh, damage being caused to the batteries they don't get hot um, it's quite simple on them, it's quite easy uh, they don't seem to uh, worry about it too much and it just means you can plug these straight in to a USB port and charge your batteries up uh, the idea is, you know, you've got USB ports everywhere, um, you know, even your mobile phone chargers and that sort of thing, uh, your computers, it doesn't matter. Um, this one's set up with a 22 ohm resistor and a single diode, uh, just a standard generic, um, one of these types of things, a 1004 or whatever. Um, each one of those will drop your voltage by half a volt. Um, your nickel metal hydrides need to be charged at about 1.4 to 1.6 volts per cell. Uh, we've got three cells at 1.2 volts each, um, 3.6 volts uh, while running. Um, in order to charge it properly, they need to be charged with approximately 4.2 to 4.5 volts. Um, so what I've done is I've mounted into the side of this unit a 22 ohm resistor. Uh, this sets your charging current um, and yeah, basically I've got that set up so it only charges these at approximately a 0.1 to 0.15 uh, amp hours uh, which is more than um, safe. For these batteries, these are 1800 MAs, uh, uh, 1.8 amp hour batteries. So th this here being fed into it, um, it takes roughly 24 hours to charge the batteries to full, uh, which means it can live indefinitely plugged into a USB charger, um, and it will happily run off the USB charger while it's on the battery power as well, um, and it'll just get the power from whichever is easier for it at that time. Um, so basically, what we have. Uh, for this one is the switch, which is the ground, that's the ground lead there running into the DC socket. Um, and then the positive side of the socket goes through this here, that's the diode. And then the diode goes through the resistor here. Um, and then that runs around to the little contact, which then goes to the front of the batteries. Pretty simple. Um, I can't show it working, I haven't got my USB cable here at the moment. Um, my next version of this will be uh, replacing the DC socket with a micro USB um, socket instead uh, which you can get uh, on a development board so it has basically the board, uh, the socket at the end of the board and then five or so holes at the other end which are easier to solder onto. Um, for this project all I need is the positive 5 volts out of the USB and the ground. I don't need any of the data pins or any of that, so it's pretty simple. Um, it's low enough that it'll, you know, it even complies with the current requirements of USB when nothing negotiates, which is 100 milliamps or one power unit. So um, it's quite safe. Uh, there, you can speed this up by increasing the resistor, uh, dropping the resistor down from say 22 ohms, which this one is, down to about 15 and that will increase your um, drive current to about 250 milliamps um, 
yeah, it breaks the standard for USB, but you know, only a com your computer may have a cry about it, but most of your telephone chargers and that sort of thing won't care. Um, as long as it's under half an amp, um, you'll be fine. Only thing is, at that charge current, um, you won't be able to leave it plugged in indefinitely because you'll actually get closer to about you know one fifth of the charging current um, of the batteries, and that will cause them to heat up. And as they heat up, um, you know they, it can cause issues and damage the cells. It shortens the life of them. Um, the purpose with this, or the thought behind this, is that if you're using low self discharge batteries, you know, the type of batteries that you can charge up, they'll maintain roughly 80% of their charge over 6 to 12 months. Um, you plug it in overnight, once in a blue moon, um, and then you can have it available and use it when you wish to. Um, means charging is easy, uh, you've always got access to a USB port somewhere, um, whether it be the side of your television, um, the back of a Foxtel box even, uh, most of those have got a USB port if you need to get access uh, to 5 volt pretty uh, pretty quickly. Uh, Nintendo Wii's, uh, most of your game consoles have USB ports. Uh, most cars and head units, uh, um, most head units have USB ports these days. Uh, usually for plugging in things like iPhones and USB sticks and things. Uh, and a lot of people also have um, USB phone chargers for uh, in their car as well. So it could it could do double t uh, double use. You know, you could use it at home or you could use it in the car and that sort of thing. And you, being using low self discharge, uh, also called any loops. Um, you'd only have to charge them once every now and then and you've always got power. I'd like to extend it to kids toys because you get a lot of kids toys with uh, you know a hell of a lot of batteries um, the batteries tend to leak everywhere you, know, you pull the thing apart and you'll find the batteries have corroded uh, which had already started to happen in this device here um, and you know once you get that happening in, in your kids toys you, you've got this stuff leaking out which does come out the side of the battery holder in a lot of cases and you don't want you know your kids getting in contact with that stuff so yeah I'd like to make this um, simple to install um, you know e even if you're using um, two cells so you, you're talking 2.4 volt normal um, a charge current of approximately 3 to 3.2 um, in order to drop the voltage from 5 down to that uh, again one of the, each one of these drops by about half a volt so you just add, you know, maybe three of them. That'll give, take one and a half volts out of the five, um, leaving you with three and a half. Set your charge current with your resistor, and Bob's your running. Um, you don't even need to know when they're charged. You just sort of plug it in, let it go. Um, pretty cool. Um, nice idea. Just wanted to try it and show you what I've been up to. See ya.